Hello, Nostalgia Collector. Welcome to my Nerd Cave. Um, I think it was Friday, I got a notification from Amazon that there was a flash deal going on on a box set of some movies that um, I was really interested in, and it was about a third of the price I was going for at the time, then, well, I wanted to drop it down in price anyway, but it was still cheaper on the flash deal by $40. So, um, yeah. And then I woke up today... Today's Sunday, by the way. I wake up today and I uh, get a notification on my phone saying that my package had been delivered. I'm like, on Sunday? I didn't sleep through till Monday, did I? If I did, then that's not good because I was supposed to work last night. But no, it's, it's Sunday and uh, it's not unheard of for that to happen. But it's very rare that things get delivered on Sunday. So, let's open it up, shall we? Alright, and... Now... I've already got a few of these on, uh, I got like 10 of them on DVD, I believe, and a handful of them on Blu-ray. So, it's okay though, I'm gonna try to get rid of those, maybe I can sell them, make some of the money back, uh, but, oh man, that is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous, oh my god, it's, it's like 3D feel. The DC Animated Universe. This is the 10th anniversary collection. There's 30 movies in here. Now, if you're like me, you've been somewhat disappointed with the DCEU. Um, I mean, they, they, a couple movies are like, mm, you know, a couple movies are bad. And, you know, they got a good one. Wonder Woman. Uh, the Miz, Batman v Superman, I can, I, can, I can forgive a lot of that. The one thing that I cannot forgive, especially in the extended edition, the extended edition was better. But the one thing I cannot forgive is the Martha part. But, um, the bad ones are obviously, uh, you know, Suicide Squad. Um, and actually, I like Man of Steel, so... Oh, I put Man of Steel over here with Wonder Woman. Yeah, I would, because I like Man of Steel. Fight me. John Flickinger did, too. Yeah, name dropper. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> yeah, I did just start humming the Superman thing, so I'm doing that. No, that was Indiana Jones. The Superman thinks some sense a lot like Indiana Jones. I just don't realize that. Oop. Oh. There's the sticky copy. Oh, I see. It doesn't open like that at all. It opens like this. Ooh, it's like a treasure chest. All right, let's pull that bad boy out. But first, I'm going before we look at the discs. We're gonna look at this. The tenth anniversary. This is a. Uh, Oh, it's an adult coloring book! I am excited. I want to color that. I probably shouldn't because, you know, collector, but hey, whatever. Then it also comes with these uh, collector's coins. You got Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. That's neat. Alright, now let's look at them. This bad boy. Ah, that's got some heft to it. Well, there's like 30 discs in here, so. Well, yeah, 30. Okay, so first off, the artwork is awesome. So we're just gonna look at that together. I don't know what. Oh, uh, Superman Doomsday and Batman Arkham Knight. It's got the names over here on the sides. You probably can't see them on this camera. Uh, flip it over. Green Lantern First Flight, Superman Batman Public Enemies, Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, Batman Under the Red Hood, that's actually one of my favorites, I love that one, Jensen Ackles' is Red Hood, uh, Superman Batman Apocalypse, Superman Shazam Return of the Black Adam includes the shorts The Spectre, Green Arrow, and Jonah Hex, which was the good adaptation of Jonah Hex, um, All-Star Superman, Green Lantern, Emerald Knights, Batman Year One, that's one I've actually never seen, with the short Catwoman, Justice League Doom, Superman vs. The, uh, the Elite, which I have not seen, Batman The Dark Knight Returns Deluxe Edition, that one's actually one of my favorites too, Batman The Dark Knight Returns Deluxe Edition Disc 2, Superman Unbound, Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox, which I've never seen. Uh, Justice League War, I have seen. Son of Batman. 
Batman Assault on Arkham, I have not seen. Justice League, Throne of Atlantis, have not seen. Batman v. Robin. Justice League, Gods and Monsters. Batman Bad Blood. Uh, Justice League vs. Teen Titans. Batman the Killing Joke, which the first 10 or 15 minutes you can kind of skip over. The rest of it is actually really good. Justice League Dark. Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. Wonder Woman, the commemorative edition. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Because I actually like the Wonder Woman one. Um, Batman and Harley Quinn, which is one of the newest ones that came out, I think, if not late last year, then this year. And I actually haven't even watched it yet. I don't, I don't, I don't own it yet either, so. Uh, Justice League, the New Frontier, commemorative edition. Again, don't know what commemorative edition is supposed to mean. And then special features, which is always cool. Um, like I said, there's 30 uh, feature-length animated films in here, and what, like... Five DC Showcase animated shorts, which are Superman, Shazam, Return of Black Adam, The Spectre, Green Arrow, Jonah Hex, and Catwoman. Um, two hours of all-new special features... Um, which include the Hero and All of Us documentary, Mark Hamill, Finding the Laugh. That's awesome. I love Mark Hamill as the Joker. A tribute panel to Darwin Cook, who I believe was the creator of uh, Static Shock, and he wound up passing away, uh, uh, way before his time. May he rest in peace. Um, DC Universe 10th Anniversary Panel at San Diego uh, San Diego Comic Con 2017. That's cool. I, I love watching these panels. Um, like on Archer, the DVDs all come with uh, the panel for the previous season, and it's always hilarious to watch. Uh, and Family Guy does the same. Let's see, 2008 San Diego Comic Con DC Universe Animation Panel featuring Wonder Woman, a comic book history of Justice League Dark, Justice League Gods and Monsters Chronicles. Uh, long book image gallery, which I believe is what we just looked at. So, and then of course I, I showed off the forty-page adult coloring book and the three collector's coins. I still want to collect the co like if I can get a duplicate of that, I will color the shit out of it. But I want to keep one, you know, fresh for the collection. I'm not planning on selling it or anything, but you know, still. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm actually super excited about this. And like I said, it it came down in price. To what I was willing to pay for it, I think it it's what, approximately like maybe four bucks a pop, a disc. So I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm, it's too early for math. I literally just woke up. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. I haven't started my coffee yet either. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show off this box set and uh, just kind of I don't know, be happy about it because uh, it's really neat. It's got a bunch in there that I had wound up never actually picking up. A bunch that I had on DVD but wanted to upgrade to Blu-ray. Um, a bunch in there that I have not seen. So, looking forward to that. I basically completed the collection minus the few that came out after this was released. Uh, which I still need to see, like Batman Ninja and... Um, there's, there's another one out that I haven't seen yet. But hey. uh, Like I said, though, if you're disappointed at all with the... DC Extended Universe or DC Live Action Adaptations in general, man, the, the animated universe is actually really well done. It's beautifully animated. Um, it was kicked off by the creator of the Batman animated series, uh, Bruce Tim, I think is his name. And um, a f bunch of these actually feature the 90s voice actors. Uh, the dude from uh, Superman, I can't think of his name, but... Um, I think Mr. Krabs voiced Lex Luthor, didn't he? Yeah, he and he's back in a few of these. And um, Kevin Conroy, Mark Hamill. Um, it just, it's really well done. There's a lot of also just amazing actors in general. A few of them, they switch up based on like different animation styles. They'll change the voice actors to better fit it. Like um, Robocop actually voices Batman in uh, Batman The Dark Knight Returns. The original Robocop. You can tell his voice. Uh, you know, he sounds kind of like this, you know? Like a different version of Jeff Bridges, I guess. But <laughs> um, I think even Nathan Fillion does a few of the voices. So it's And uh, Neil Patrick Harris. And th there's just a ton of amazing um, acting talent in these movies. 
So, yeah, I mean, even if you don't get the whole box set, you know, pick up a couple of them on Blu-ray or whatever and, you know, give them a watch or, like, rent them at Redbox as they come out. And, uh, well, yeah, like I said, they're just really well done and uh, super awesome for, like, for straight-to-DVD or straight-to-Blu-ray releases. They're really well done, you know? So, hey, check them out. Uh, I'm the Nostalgia Collector, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.